Hi everyone! Today we are going to learn how to draw cozy winter bears. So not only will we use our shapes and our lines to draw bears, but we're also going to dress them up for winter. You're going to need a piece of paper and either a pencil or a black marker, crayon, or black colored pencil. Also, something to color with. Now I have some silly scent crayons and I also have some colorful markers. For this project, you can have your paper turned long ways or tall ways like this. Now I'm going to be using a black marker for this drawing. If you feel more comfortable using a pencil, you can go ahead and use a pencil, but I'm going to just go ahead and use my black marker. So I'm finding the middle of my paper and I'm using my magic finger to draw a circle or an oval shape near the middle of my paper. And it's okay if it's not a perfect circle or oval. That shape that we just drew will be the snout for our bear. Next, we're going to draw the eyes. The eyes will be right here and here. So what I'm going to do is draw two little oval shapes and fill them in with my black marker. Your eyes could look different than mine. Maybe you have more cartoon looking eyes where you have a black dot with a big white circle around that black dot. I want you to be creative with your eyes. Okay, let's talk about our bear's nose and mouth. Those belong in the bear's snout or that circle area that we drew first. I'm going to draw sort of a rounded triangle shape, but your bear's nose might even be a heart. It might be a square or a circle or oval shape. It's up to you. I want you to be creative. Next, I'm drawing a straight line down and two little curvy lines up for my bear's mouth. Maybe your bear is sticking its tongue out. Maybe it's a silly bear. I'm going to leave mine just how it is. So now we have the nose, mouth, snout, and eyes, and it's time to draw the top of our bear's head. So with my magic finger, I'm going to trace a nice big rainbow shape over my bear's head. That's just like a half circle. After I'm done practicing with my magic finger, I'm going to go in with my marker and draw that shape. And remember, if your shape doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Your bear might have more of a round head or more of a square head. It's up to you, friends. Next, we are going to focus on drawing the body for our bear now that we have the head drawn. So with my magic finger, I first practiced a diagonal line, and then with my art supply, I drew that line. Next, we're going to bring our lines down to the bottom of our paper. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. Okay, there we have it. Our bear has a body, but our bear can't hear us, so let's give him some ears. For my bear's ears, I'm going to use these beautiful half circle shapes on either side of my bear's head. Okay, there are two bear ears, but I'm actually going to add some more detail. I'm going to add another smaller half circle shape inside of my bear's ears to show that there's an outside part of the ear and an inside part of the ear. Okay, our bear can hear us now, finally. Let's give our bear some arms because our bear just looks like a big old blob right now and we need to give him or her some arms. With my magic finger, I'm practicing a diagonal line and then going in with my marker on one side and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. This bear is pretty symmetrical, which means it looks the same on both sides. There's another diagonal line. They don't have to be perfect straight diagonal lines. They can be a little curvy. With my magic finger I'm practicing. With my line I'm coming down and around and up for my bear's paw. And again, doing the same thing on the other side. I'm going to give my bear some sharp claws. Even though my bear looks nice, he's still, he or she is still a bear. And bears have claws. Okay, let's give our bear a scarf because our bear looks a little bit cold. 
With my magic finger, I'm practicing drawing a curved line underneath the snout of my bear and then going in with my marker. I'm using a curved line to show that my bear's neck is round. Now underneath that curved line that I drew, I'm going to draw another curved line that follows that same shape. This creates the bottom part of my bear's scarf. Okay, looking good. Next, let's draw the ends of the scarf. So I'm going to use a wavy line. You could use a curved line or a straight line even. And these wavy lines will be next to each other, two wavy lines. And then we are going to add a little line at the bottom to connect them. Now, just a little bit up from the bottom of that section of the scarf, I'm drawing a, a little line to the side and another wavy line up. That is the other piece of my bear's scarf. Our bear looks much warmer now, don't you think? Hmm. Something else that we could add to keep our bear nice and warm is a hat. For our bear's hat, we are going to draw a little curved line up right there and another curved line up on the other side right there. Remember, this bear is pretty symmetrical or the same on both sides. Okay, and a nice long curved line that follows the same shape of my bear's head. I'm practicing with my magic finger. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but then I'm going in with my marker. There you have it. There is the brim of my bear's hat. Now for the top shape, I want you to be creative. Draw whatever shape hat that you want. You could draw a round shape, a triangular shape. I'm going to draw kind of an organic triangular shape. An organic shape is a shape that has free flowing sides. I'm going to give my bear kind of a Santa type hat just in time for the holidays. Alrighty, now our bears are looking cozy. Let's start decorating our bear's hat and scarf. So for my bear's scarf, I want to add a pattern. I'm going to choose a half circle pattern with smaller and smaller circles. I want you to be creative. Come up with your own pattern for your bear's scarf. Remember, a pattern is any repeating line, shape, or image. Your pattern could be polka dots, stripes, hearts, stars. Your pattern could be flowers, as long as you have that shape or picture or line repeating, it's a pattern. I'm adding little frills at the end of my bear's scarf to show that it's a knitted scarf. Okay, let's give this black and white bear some color. I'm going to color my bear's nose in black, and then I'm going to think about my bear's fur. I'm going to use a brown crayon because I want my bear to be a brown bear. Your bear doesn't have to be a brown bear. It could be a different color bear if you would like. I'm using my crayon and I am coloring in rows with a back and forth motion. That will give my bear a hair-like texture. Texture is the way that something feels or looks as though it may feel. So by using my crayon in this way, I am making it look like there is some hair on my bear. You might have a different way of coloring and that's just fine. So go ahead and color in your bear's fur. Okay, I'm finished with my bear's head and ears. I'm now going to color in his body. Almost done. Ta-da! My bear looks more like a bear now because he has hair. Time to add some pizzazz to my bear's scarf. And by pizzazz, I mean color. I'm going to use some markers to color in my bear's patterns on its scarf. Go ahead and use whatever, uh, whatever art supply that you have at home to add color to your bear's scarf.
Okay, I'm almost done carefully coloring in my bear scarf. Now let's talk about that snout. I'm going to use my crayon and I'm going to press very, very lightly with my crayon so that I get a lighter value on my bear's snout. Just like that. All right, let's take a look at that snout. You can see that it looks lighter than my bear's hair. Time to color in the ears. And finally, our bear's hat. I'm not going to add a pattern to my bear's hat. I'm just going to color it in this beautiful green color. You could add a pattern to your hat if you would like. You can create a rainbow colored hat. It could be a black hat, a red hat, a blue hat. The choice is yours. Just make sure that you're careful when you color. There's my bear, how beautiful. He looks so hairy and so warm. Now I'm going to draw a background for my bear. I'm drawing these snowflakes in the background. You don't have to include a background if you don't want to, but I think it makes my artwork look more complete. For snowflakes, I'm drawing two diagonal lines that cross with a vertical and a horizontal line. I'll show you again, just like that. And then I'm also adding little shapes to the end of some of my snowflakes, maybe some more lines to my snowflakes, because all snowflakes are different. I'm going to add snowflakes that are big, some that are small, so that I have a variety of different sizes. And I'm also going to use a dark blue marker to make some of my other snowflakes. Now remember friends, if you want to include a background, you can. You could include stars. Your bear could be in outer space. Your bear could be underwater. I want you to be creative if you decide to draw that background. All right, there we have it. Look at my warm and cozy winter bear. I hope that you have fun with this project, boys and girls, and I can't wait to see those cozy, fuzzy winter bears. Bye-bye!